Kyrie and Jay, and welcome back to Messy Mondays, where we ain't stressing about no messes. If you got some tea, or you need some advice, or you just got some drama that you want to share, be sure to DM me your story at my Instagram at pre underscore D or underscore J, and maybe you be the lucky person that I'll share your story anonymously. So yeah, you guys, and if you guys are new to my channel, make sure that you guys are joining the family by clicking that subscribe button down below and also hitting that notification bell just so that you'll be notified every time I upload. And if you guys are looking for a shout out on my channel, all you have to do is be the first to comment on each and every video that I upload. Okay, Bessie, so let's get into this video. Okay, y'all, so on my Instagram story and my Facebook, um, I asked for everyone if you had some type of juicy story or some type of advice that you guys wanted me to give um, or put on my channel. And a lot of people started DMing me surprisingly, which I didn't think people were. But a lot of people started DMing me the scenario stories that they had. So that's what I'm going to be doing, you guys. I got my tablet. And I'm going to go ahead and be just reading um, some of the stuff that I got from um, a couple of the people that, I'm subscribed, that subscribe to my channel and stuff like that. So I will not be releasing any names or anything like that. Um, every story that I put out will be anonymously, so just keep that in mind. So the first one that I have, ladies, is she says, I need some advice. My best friend won't listen to me, and I don't know what to do. Her boyfriend always puts her down. Every time they argue, this is what he tells her. This is why I don't want to be with you, and I tell her all the time, oops, I tell her all the time her relationship is toxic because of the way he treats her. But literally, when they make up, she says, oh, he didn't mean to say that. He just says that because he knows what else, he doesn't know what else to say. The advice to help me tell her that this is not okay would really help me appreciate it and love your channel. Thank you, Boo, for sending in your story or whatnot about your friend. Um, that's very concerning of you, but I could definitely, most definitely relate to this one because I have a friend now. Um, and I basically feel the same way, but I usually like, depending on how old they are, you know, how old they are um, in age and stuff like that, I wouldn't even tend to keep caring and draining and putting yourself into their mix. I mean, it's always good to sit there and be a good friend to your friend and listen and stuff like that. But once you, you can only say what you say so many times and a person can only take that advice, either run with it or let it go in one ear and out the other. I mean, you're not their mom, you're not their counselor, you're just their friend. And all you can do right now is literally just give your best advice to them about one or two times or however many times you feel is comfortable with you. And then basically sis, just move on after that because this is her life and a lot of people have to literally go through stuff to learn. Some people have to get hurt to, get learn, to learn what not to take from people. So just continue to be a good friend for, to her you know, continue to uplift her, but also remember that she is her own person. Um, I'm pretty sure she's an adult, and if she's not, she definitely had a lot to learn. So let her go through her trials and her tribulations on her own. And I, I guarantee it all comes together at the end. And what's for her will be for her, and what's not for her will, will, will exit her life very soon. So, you know, just continue to pray about it. You know, keep continuing to tell her things in her ear like hey you know you don't deserve this but don't don't never just nag about it like you're trying to make her leave her man or whatever like that you know people have to make their own decisions at, the, at their own time so timing is everything you know just continue to be there for her continue to tell her hey you know you deserve a lot more than this but hey i'm gonna let you make your own decision and whatnot so but um i definitely can relate to that one so that was actually a definite definite good one because I have a friend myself and where I was just getting so wrapped up in getting so mad like she was she was going through and stuff like that to where it was just pissing me off and I'm just like starting to make me like I don't even want to be her friend because you know she hits me up with all this drama most of the time and then when I give her all my advice she calls back the next day or two 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 three days later with basically the same story and stuff like that and at this point it's draining me and I want to say that too if something is draining you then maybe you need to distance yourself now if you're just feeling like it is draining you then that means you're too much in their mix like you're just too close into what their business got so just try to like eliminate yourself from certain situations stop answering the phone so much when you know she's going through some stuff and I, I mean sometimes it's hard to say that because you're, you're trying to be a good friend but sometimes people can be toxic because of what they're toxic the thing that they're going through that's already toxic so if you feel like it's starting to affect your life and stuff like that then 
the best thing to do is just, you know, let her maybe even let them know like, hey, I don't want to discuss your relationship problems anymore. I feel like I give you so much advice and I just feel like you don't listen. Um, and I just feel like you need to learn on your own. So, you know, just to keep our relationship sane, I don't, I don't want to discuss everything about your relationship, not your, uh, not your problems, basically. Um, sometimes you have to do that because sometimes you have to worry about your own self-help other than somebody else's. So if you notice that it's draining you too much, that means your nose is too much in their business. Thank you, for, thank you so much for um, sending in that question. Um, that was a really good question for my first question on here. Um, so, but shout out to you, girl. This is another one um, from a girl. She said, hey, so a friend of mine was told she needed to wash that thing better. But she knows for a fact she doesn't smell there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and she's a bigger girl, so her thighs rub together. Any advice? She said the guy also said she, made, she made his room stink. <laughs> oh my goodness. Any advice? She feels like complete crap right now. She's so bummed out. <gasps> oh my goodness. I wouldn't even know what to do. I don't even know, sis. Like what? I guess you need to go take care of your, your hygiene a little bit better. Especially if you're a bigger person, you need to maybe carry around wet wipes with you when you go to the bathroom or um, periodically go to the bathroom and clean yourself down there. Um, unscented wet wipes at that. We don't want anything scented because that also causes the odor because it causes infections and yeast and stuff like that. So um, if you are a bigger person, um, you do want to just uh, take care of yourself down there a little bit more and not just down there because you have a lot of places that, that tend to sweat. And you might be clean and you might have just got out the shower, but being that you are a heavier set person or a bigger person, you might need to just take that extra precaution just to make sure that you are smelling good at every point of the time. And if you know that you're going to go have, you know, relations with somebody, you're about to go have sex with somebody or whatever, then sis, like you could have just got out the shower, like I said, but you need to always take yourself to the bathroom right before he's about to, y'all about to do whatever y'all finna do in that bedroom. So just go do a little quick little check. I know y'all know about the little swipe check. Make sure you do that. And then we shouldn't have to run into these problems because you, you should be self-caring about yourself. Self-hygiene is the biggest part of yourself and your confidence, you guys. So I, my advice is just really to just make sure you clean. And there's no really no way to put it um, to her. But just like, well, hey, well, maybe, you know, you might not smell your I don't know how to tell somebody this, y'all. Like, I don't know. Like, I never had to tell nobody they stank. So I don't know how would you tell your friend. I mean, you just sit there and basically keep it blunt, but just, you know, say it in the right tone. Like, you know, well, hey, maybe if he said that, then you know what to do next time. Some deodorant spray in the bathroom next time and make sure you don't smell that. Or pack some sweat wipes with you. You know, like feminine spray and stuff like that. I mean, just give her some advice. Like, hey, sometimes we don't smell ourselves, but other people will smell us before hand and stuff like that. I mean, but since I wouldn't even know what to tell my friend, like, girl, you stink. <laughs> I wouldn't, I, I honestly would, I don't know, sis. Like, that's a very hard one. The only thing I can tell you is to be blunt. Be blunt, but not too blunt, you know? Find a way, a nice, subtle way to tell her. Like, I don't know, play a YouTube video or something about somebody's body or something. Cause that's horrible. I mean, like I said, if you're a bigger person, you need to know that you need to take care of yourself a little bit more than the average person because you know, you sweat a lot more than the average person. But yeah, shout out to you for sending that question in. Thank you so much. That was definitely a hilarious one. Literally, that was hilarious. Um, but yeah. Okay. okay, ladies. So the last quest, well, the last story that I have, um, well, the last question I have, I guess it's a question. She said, okay, I need some, I keep doing that. She said, okay, I need some advice. So I've been dating my boyfriend for about a year and a half and we live together in an apartment. He pays his half of the bills plus tool payment, plus tool. I don't know what she meant by that, but she said plus tool payment and child support. But can't for the life of me get him to stop blowing his money and save up to move. He complains about not liking the area we live in and want to move south, but he won't put any money aside to move or he's talked about in an engagement ring. Any advice on how I should go about this? I've tried talking to him about it, but he doesn't listen. Uh, my advice is, is, what is my advice? Uh, 
Okay, sis, so my advice is to take it upon your initiative to maybe like go and say we need to start a joint bank account um, with certain amount of money going in every time you get paid. Um, and that's on both of you, yours account. Like you, every time you get paid, you will put some money in and every time he gets paid, he will put an agreed amount in. Um, or sis, sometimes you just have to be a little bit more aggressive, like, <laughs> When he gets that check, sis, you just need to be like, here, where's the money? <laughs> so I can put it up, because we're trying to move and you're playing games. You feel me? Like, just simple as that sometimes, a lot of you guys can be so submissive and, you know, so passive that you don't stand up for yourself half the time. So a lot of stuff in your household is not getting done and you're arguing over unnecessary stuff. I mean, a man only do what you allow him, sis. So put your foot down and tell him that, he needs to give you the money every time he gets paid. <laughs> and every time you see him spending unnecessary money, you need to speak up. Like, stop buying them lottery tickets, stop buying them beers, stop buying them shoes, stop buying them unnecessary clothes, and hand over. And if you're gonna, maybe make a little jar. If you spend 50, you put 25 in or something like that. Make a creative way for him to save some money or something like that. Have a sit down with him and y'all come with a budget. But don't be ridiculous, you know, you have to think about his needs because obviously he got stuff that he likes to buy and stuff like that or do with his money. So, you know, make a budget for him to spend this a month and a budget for you guys to save a month and a budget for bills a month, you know, like stuff like that. You Sometimes you have to take initiative into your own hands because men, they don't think it's responsible as, as especially if their names are on the bills or especially if, if that's not something that they're into or they're literally, literally like, I gotta have it right now. Men will sit there and complain and complain and complain, but they don't, they'd be in the same position forever because men are more, men are more comfortable than women. We take the time when we complain about something, we're going to go fix it right then and there. Okay. That's just the, that's just the woman nature in us. Like, that's just what we do. Like men sometimes are a little bit slower. That's why they have mamas to push them, push them out the house, push them to school, push them to work and stuff like that. Cause men, they tend to get comfortable in their ways. So you being the girlfriend or the wife, you need to take initiative over your household and say, hey, or maybe go get a, a financial advisor, you know, to sit down with you guys. Cause if he's not listening to you, maybe you need to get somebody else professional to step in. And that's literally my best advice that I can give you. Literally, like it's probably to get someone professional to step in and help you guys out with your finances. Cause that is the number one reason that is like the top three reasons why a lot of relationships fail is financial reasons, stuff like that. So I would just say communicate, uh, communicate a lot more about it and stand your ground a lot more about it. Or if that does not work, like you said, he's not listening, then I would just definitely say, go get some professional help. Like as far as like a professional financial advisor who can sort out your finances and stuff like that and a budget for you guys. Cause sometimes having other people step in will help everything tremendously because sometimes people often listen to other people before they even listen to their own people that's in their house. So I don't know what it is because my own fiance does this all the time. So I don't know, something maybe it's a man thing, y'all, but sometimes we just have to let down that submissive role that we have. It's a way to be submissive, but it's still a way to let you put your foot down as well. So yeah, maybe you just gotta take the role on right now and just say, hey, this is what we about to do. And I don't care, there's no if ends or buts about that. Your little shoes is gonna have to wait this weekend. We'll try to find a way next weekend to get the shoes, but right now we got priorities right now, okay? Um, so I really appreciate that question. Thank you so much for sending in that question. And I really do thank you guys. That made a successful, messy Monday. Hold up, that made a first successful, messy Mondays. Let's not forget that. This is my first messy Mondays, you guys, and I really do appreciate you guys tuning in with me. Hopefully that I will be dropping I will be dropping so much more Messy Mondays each and every Monday. If you guys are into this segment, make sure that you guys are subscribing down below. And if you guys are looking for a shout out on my channel, all you have to do is hit that bell notification and you will be notified each and every time that I upload and just be the first person to comment on each and every video. And I will shout you out on each and every Friday I do shout out. So yeah, hope you be the lucky person I shout out. Tomorrow we'll be tuning in Tuesdays where we get your life sis and we talk about finances education, business, and entrepreneurship. So if you're into that, make sure you guys come back tomorrow to watch that video. And without further ado, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.